There is nothing impossible with God. All the impossibility is with us when we measure God by the limitations of our unbelief. To the man of faith, there is not a thing that is not opportunity. God wants us so badly that he has made the condition as simple as he possibly could only believe. God does not call those who are equipped. He equips those whom he has called. God never intended his people to be ordinary or commonplace. His intentions were that they should be on fire for him, conscious of his divine power, realizing the glory of the cross that foreshadows the crown. When we come to the place of impossibilities, it is the grandest place for us to see the possibilities of God. God is more eager to answer than we are to ask. God wants to purify our minds until we can bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, and endure all things. Before a man can bind the enemy, he must know there is nothing binding him. Enter into the promises of God. It is your inheritance. You will do more in one year, if you are really filled with the Holy Ghost, than you could do in fifty years apart from Him. I am not moved by what I see. I am moved only by what I believe. Praise is God's sunlight in the heart. It destroys sin germs. It ripens the fruits of the Spirit. It is the oil of gladness that lubricates life's activities. You must come to see how wonderful you are in God and how helpless you are in yourself. Before God could bring me to this place, He has broken me a thousand times. The blood of Jesus Christ and His mighty name are an antidote to all the subtle seeds of unbelief that Satan would sow in your minds. God has privileged us in Christ Jesus to live above the ordinary human plane of life. Those who want to be ordinary and live on a lower plane can do so, but as for me, I will not. Real faith has perfect peace and joy and a shout at any time. It always sees the victory. God can so fill a man with his spirit that he can laugh and believe in the face of a thousand difficulties. A man is in a great place when he has no one to turn to but God. There is something about believing God that will cause him to pass over a million people to get to you.